Today we're going to be talking about White's Bell Crank. This is an idea I came up with last year that uh, makes every rosette that you have pump without making a special pumping rosette. So let's take a closer look. So this is the bell crank. Here's your hinge pin down here, which is adjustable. If you adjust it, you're changing the ratio of how much it's pumping. So what, we've do, what we're doing is you can pick any rubber you want and put it in here. And, of course, by putting any extra auxiliary rosette on the back side, when you turn the handle, this will go around in a circle. And this right here, this little bearing, pushes against the crossing plate and pumps it forward against the spring pressure. So let's take a look at that. Right now this particular rosette has a 1 8 of an inch uh, pump going on it. And of course if you decided you wanted less all you have to do is pull this pin and pick a different hinge point by changing where you're pinned in will change the amount of uh, uh, amplitude you get in the pumping direction. Another thing you can do with this particular setup is you can change to any type of rosette you want. By changing uh, the rosette will change what the pump looks like totally from one particular rosette to the next and from one rubber to the next. You can really change things up by switching out the different types of rubbers you use with uh, the same rosette you can get things that look totally different. Now, right now you can tell by the indicator we're going about an eighth of an inch deep. So all I have to do is set this to the valley, screw this in till it t the roller continues to run constantly even in the back direction and that's all you need to get any rosette to pump. So that's about it for White's bell crank and we'll see you again in the Rose Engine Shop.